The girder front end has tremendous chassis rigidity, uh, torsional rigidity. It's very strong. And it's stronger than a, tel a telescopic. It's stronger than tubes. And the other real dynamic advantage is wheel trajectory. You can control your wheel trajectory by the length and placement of your control arms so that you can make the trail, which is critical on a motorcycle, do anything that you want. What's interesting on our bike is that we've got a trail that starts at, I believe it's 98 millimeter, and then decreases to 85 very quickly, and then levels at 85. So you can actually modulate the, cur the curve of the trail, which we have done, and I'm very happy with it. What it will do is it will be very, uh, when you go into a corner and the suspension compresses, the steering on the motorcycle will get very light, very quickly, then remain very light, but not twitchy. Then when you come out of a corner, it will become stable again. Now the other, the other component of that is the aesthetic component of the front end. It looks the way it does for very good reasons. I've caught, gotten a lot of flack over having it you know, too wide, too bulky. Uh, I'm real happy with the way it looks. For, for one thing, when you're dealing with carbon fiber, you have restrictions. Um, the more mass you have on the surface, the stronger it's gonna be. Uh, the other side of it, though, really is, is that the trailing edge of, of the girder, I wanted to match as close as I could to the rake angle of the chassis. I think that's an important line because that's one of those things that tells people what kind of motorcycle it is. And it just was bad, man. We, we tried playing around with having the front end sticking off and not having the same rake angle. It, it didn't work. Um, the leading edge, of course, has to be curved. You can't have a straight leading edge because it's a Wraith motorcycle. The bike consists of circles. It's, it enters and exits uh, space with two circles. So I think it was important to keep a round front end. So given those, given those two design parameters, uh, it can't look any other way. The front end is an integral part of holistic design. It had to be that way. I couldn't just go off the shelf and buy some telescopics. It's not just that telescopics aren't very good. It's that they don't work with this motorcycle from a, from a theoretical and aesthetic point. Uh, I think that from a styling standpoint, and you see this in the custom bike world, people are always trying to put skulls and devils and, you know, uh, daggers and knives and bric-a-brac on their custom choppers. And I would think that the reason why that is, is because they want to perceive their motorcycle as a weapon. And if they decorate it like a weapon, they think that it will become one. But the irony is that a motorcycle, riding a motorcycle is inherently a nonviolent activity. In other words, the only person who's going to get hurt by this weapon is the rider. So I don't really understand uh, the skulls and the evil clowns and all that stuff. I don't think that it's necessary. I think that if the motorcycle is alive and has a life force and it is imbued with a soul, then all of that either goodness or badness will come out of the bike on its own. You don't need to embellish it. You certainly don't need to style it into the bike. Just let it be honest. Let it exist. It is what it is. Uh, I, I'm a minimalist by nature. So color for me is a terrifying thing. Um, I, I'm real worried about it. It's very scary. I, I don't really understand it. I, I can't really cope with color. So for me personally, Man, I'm not going to have anything other than a black wraith. Uh, but color can be added very easily. Um, I encourage people to experiment with cosmetics. I don't think that they should ex experiment with the dynamics. I think they should leave that up to us. Um, but certainly cosmetics are uh, up for personal interpretation. I'd like to see some stuff that people would do with this motorcycle. I want it to be an individual motorcycle. I want people to take it and, and make it theirs. That doesn't bother me at all.